The donation of a 40-bed mobile field hospital by the U.S. government was supplemented on Thursday by the additional handover of three vehicles to the St. Lucia Fire Service. First responders of the St. Lucia Fire Service have seen the tempo of deployments to emergency scenes taken up a notch from the onset of the pandemic. For senior management, the availability of any new asset in a resource-constrained environment is an operational plus. We want to start off by expressing my sincere apologies for the vehicles not being physically on site this morning due to some administrative glitches. But I want to start by, on behalf of the St. Lucia Fire Service, the management and staff, by thanking the U.S. Embassy for Barbados and the Eastern Caribbean for the donation of those three vehicles. Uh, rest assured that we'll put it to very good use and it will assist us greatly in enhancing our emergency services to the people and visitors to St. Lucia to fight COVID and other emergencies. Over the past few months, the U.S. and the St. Lucia governments have been strengthening bilateral ties with the protective services like the police, benefiting from the relaxing of sanctions on security assistance. Prime Minister Philip J. Pierre articulated his determination to improve the health system, which includes the construction of an overdue St. Jude hospital. He revealed that a policy framework of cooperation with the U.S. is in the works. You all are working towards the establishment of a structured cooperation framework for development cooperation between St. Lucia and the United States of America. My government is very supportive of this initiative. The seeds were sown earlier, and we believe that such a framework will promote and facilitate greater bilateral collaboration between our governments. I'm happy to receive these donations on behalf of the government and people of St. Lucia. I want to express my profound gratitude of the government and people of St. Lucia to the government and people of the United States of America for the donation of the field hospital and free vehicles. I also want to take this opportunity to say to the people of St. Lucia and to you, Your Excellency, that very soon we shall be returning to the site of St. Jude's to give the people of St. Lucia a modern, well-equipped hospital. They've suffered too long. The National Emergency Management Organization is a key partner agency in the establishment of the field hospital. It was deemed necessary because of the increase in the number of cases on island. The field hospital was intended to divert some of the pressures away from the respiratory hospital and to augment the Department of Health and wellness in its area such as PCR testing, vaccination to civilian population. It was also to provide other medical services and to respond to other local emergencies that may overwhelm the capacity of the country's hospital and the medical centers. The hospital, which costs more than $600,000 U.S. or EC $1.6 million, is equipped with a suite of modern facilities and amenities. It was constructed by the Western Shelter Systems. Joachim Duplessis, HDS News Force.